Yo, 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 what's up, people? This video is going to be talking about inner joints. So, I'm going to write that on the board just so people can see it. Yeah, that's an inner joint. Okay, so, the way an inner joint... The way an inner join works is it's going to take one table and another table and then wherever there is rows from this table and this table that are connected, it's going to present them in a new generated table. So let's just break this down and see how it works. Let's go with an example, right? Because you got to use examples. We're going to have a customer table. We're also going to have a card table. So think of like a bank, for example. You're going to have a customer table where you're going to put all your customers in there, and then you have a card table where you're going to put every single card that's been given out or will be given out to people who have credit cards. Or you could make it to where you can even include debit cards in there, but we'll just worry about credit cards for now. So basically, we're going to draw this out, and we're not going to have it required that a card has a customer or a customer has a card. So neither of these columns are going to be labeled as not null. So basically the card does not need to have a customer and a customer does not need to have a card. So we have one table over here and another table over here. And generally this would be designed as a um, one-to-many relationship because one person can have many cards and usually one card is owned by one person. You could design it as a many-to-many -many relationship where you can joint own a card or multiple people can own a card. But eh, you can modify the examples as needed. So let's say this is the uh, customer. customer and this is the card table. Now we might have something, like of course we're going to have an ID for the customer, so we're going to have the customer ID. You know, their first name, last name, um, their address, their date of birth, all their personal information that we need for their data for uh, the bank. That's where that's going to go. Over here, we're going to have a card ID. And then we're also going to have a customer. ID. And because this is a one-to-many relationship, we have the child and the parent. If this is a one-to-one -one relationship, we could have it to where there was also a card ID in the customer table if we wanted. But I'm not going to do that. And we can get into one-to-one -one relationship design best practices in another video. But for now, the customer ID is going to reference this customer ID. And here we can also have more information about the card. We could have the uh, the total amount or the uh, limit, max amount I guess I could say. Max amount. Uh, you could have monthly bill. And because this is a really simplified example, we don't really have to worry about other tables such as, um, you know, bills and um, invoices, I mean, and all that other junk. We're just keeping it simple here. And let's say this is how we structured our database and we want to make it more user friendly with a join to where we join information across the table because we don't want to have to have the customer ID for the card. So we create a join and we make this new generated table I don't know why I made this like circle, but and within here, we could say we could say it's the uh, card uh, customer. For example, it doesn't really matter what we give uh, the title of the actual table. And what we're going to do in here is let we decide which columns we want to take. Well, the first thing we we always start with the ID because that's how things are going to be joined. And we don't necessarily have to return that ID within our table, but we need to think about it because that's how we connect the tables. So generally the, the ID is just for the database's sake. It's usually not something you use 
outside of the database. It doesn't have any real world value. So we usually don't need to record it in the join for a viewed application or uh, whatever we're using this for. Now if you're the database administrator and you want some more um, presentable tables like this but you want to keep the IDs in there, that's fine too. But we're not gonna we're not gonna return the customer ID. There's no need to. It's just a number. But since it's in both tables, if we did join it down here, it would only be in one column. So we would have, you know, customer ID. And that's going to take the combination of these. We're gonna have the customer ID, like let's say 62, and then card ID be like seven and then customer ID 62 and card ID 8 so that's kind of how that would work but we're not going to return those so what we're going to do is we're going to return uh, just the first name last name and we're also going to return the uh, um, let's add another column I'm out paid so basically that's saying like how far they paid off their credit card bill. Let's say you borrowed 10000 and you owe 6000 and you've paid back 4000 so far just to see how far people are getting to paying off their bills. And like I said, this is a very simplified example. You could make it to where it gives a percentage and you could have more tables for bills and invoices and all that junk. But just so you guys understand the join concept, it works the same for basically any columns you use. So within here, we could have first name, last name, and the amount paid. These are our columns within our table. I'm just going to open this up so we can write some. And we could say that we have individual people. We could say um, Caleb Curry. And then his amount paid on one of his cards is 2200 And we also have Caleb Curry. And uh, the amount paid is 720 and um, if you wanted you could go in and edit the join at a max amount. So that's basically, or, um, we could have a column on here such as um, amount owed. And we could have that in here too. And that would basically say how much they paid out of how much. So it would look like, uh, then here we could have amount owed, like, 3,000. Which is basically saying 2,200 out of 3,000. If you wanted to do that, you could do that. But for simplicity's sake, let's keep it like this. And then we could have uh, Jimmy John. And the amount paid could be uh, 2,800 and so forth. You could make more rows if you wanted. Now you're wondering, okay, what's an inner join? We talked about that earlier. Well, basically an inner join is going to take only the rows that either a card has a customer and a customer has a card, where they intersect. So this new table, this joined table, is going to eliminate any customers that do not have a card, and it's also going to eliminate any cards that do not have a customer. So I'm going to erase this. I'm just going to draw a little illustration um, to show you how this works. Now, um, you can find more pictures like this online, which I'll link to in the description if I can remember. Think of it like this. Here is the uh, left table, which was the customer. And here is the um, card table. And this part in the middle this is kind of like the join table or where they intersect. So here are the customers that have a card and here are the cards that have a customer. So within here, this is going to contain all of the rows that have a customer that also owns a card or a card that is owned by a customer. So if you have a card with no customer, it'll stay out of the end result. And if you have a customer with no card, it'll stay out of the end result. So this is what you can think of it as. 
all of these things within this um, part of the uh, Venn diagram or whatever, that's going to be returned. Now, there's different kinds of joins where it'll only re where it will only return, for example, this side or this side, but that's what we're going to be getting in in future videos. So if you want to do a left join, or if you want to do a left join and go on here, or a right join and go over here, but an inner join is just the intersection of both of the tables. I don't know. I have this habit of just like wiping it off with my hands and then my hands are like dark green. <laughs> so I'm trying to be a little more civilized, you know? <laughs> so how do you do this? Well, it's done within a select statement because remember we are in, uh, we're using data manipulation language, which is done through selects. So, it would be something like this. Now, to warn you, um, the syntax is going to vary a lot from relational database management system from relational database management system. But the concept stays the same, so you just got to replace a couple things, insert a couple things, boom, bada bang, you got a new join. So, we're going to say select, and then whatever comes after the select, I'm going to scoot this over some. Everything that comes after the select is going to be the columns that we want in the joined generated table. So in the last example we had first name, and then we also had the last name, and we also had, uh, what was it, amount paid, I don't remember, but something like that. So that's going to be the columns we want returned. Then we are going to say, what table are we getting these columns from? So we do from, and then we say, okay, well, you may be wondering, well, there's multiple tables, so how do we know which one we are going to use? Well, we're going to put the left one first, which in our drawing we had the user or the customer, and then we had the card. So we're going to put from customer, and then you're going to do a join and join the other table to the customer. So we're going to say enter join and then you're going to say uh, the other table which was card. Now what you're going to do is say how are these tables connected? So the way we had them connected or the way we want to join these tables is by the foreign key connecting to the primary key. And the way you signify that in the syntax would be with this little statement here. On, which is basically saying, what are we joining it by? And you're going to say, customer dot customer ID. And what's that, what that dot is, is basically saying the first part of this is the table. The second part is the column. The reason we have to do that is because both tables have a customer ID. And then you're just going to connect that to the other table by saying equals uh, card dot customer ID. Now that's basically all you have to do for this. It's going to connect, if you look at the syntax, it's going to connect, let me get a different marker here. Colors makes things so useful, right? Gonna use black. Okay, we got the customer joined with the card. Those are the tables. And then we're going to say what columns we want to return in the new join, and that's first name, last name, and amount paid. And then we have to say how they're related, that's the customer ID of the customer table is equal to the customer ID of the card table. And that's how you get your joined results. So the end result would of course look like this. And you're going to have first name, last name, and then a, a amount paid. There you go. So that is how an inner join works. The next thing we're going to be talking about is left joins and right joins and all the other cool kinds of joins. Main thing though, don't worry too much about the syntax if it's overwhelming. Just worry about the concept. Understand that if you do an inner join, 
it's going to exclude all of the rows from either the left or the right table that aren't in both tables. It has to be in both tables in order for it to work. That's the most important thing to understand when it comes to these joins. Because if you understand that, all you got to do literally is look up, let's say you're using MySQL, I'll just look up MySQL syntax inner join. And then you're going to get a little syntax code, replace the columns they gave you with the columns you want, and the tables with the tables that you want. It's really simple, so you don't really need to like, yeah, obviously you should learn this in the long run, but if you're new to this, don't worry about diving in, studying that for 20 years. Worry about the concepts, because once you get the concepts, it's easier to pick up on this junk. So, yeah. Peace.